good afternoon distinguished delegates participants ladies and gentlemen greetings from rajiv gandhi institute of petroleum technology the institute was established by an act of parliament in the year 2008 and is is located at a place called jayas which is near to raibareli or amethi and lucknow as well the institute has been given institution of national importance and it is government of india institute uh, governed through ministry of petroleum the institute as the name suggest has a focused uh, mandate on to work on the area of energy and hydrocarbon we run number of btech programs mtech programs phd as well as we do uh, testing and consultancy work as well uh, though the institute act was passed in 2008 but our building came up in 2016 and our real research activity started from 2018 onward so it is a new institute but we are progressing well and uh, hopefully uh, serving the society and serving the nation uh, as mandated for us uh, Mr Rajiv Gupta uh, on our invitation he is visiting our institute uh, and i would like to tell you also that i am also um, uh, a faculty as well as a student of iit bhu uh, and i am currently on deputation uh, to this institute as director appointed by the government of india so when i was discussing with uh, uh, mr rajiv gupta he told me about the navjivan priyas foundation and i was quite excited to learn the activities of the this foundation working towards sustainability and uh, green energy uh, etc so we find that there are common synergy between the, the my institute uh, and this foundation uh, as i suggested that i we are in the area of petroleum and energy and all of us know that energy is the prime mover for the society for its growth unfortunately currently the 85% our of gas and petrol are being ex- imported and we know the what are the shortcomings and what are the dangers of this uh, so much import dependence further uh, these uh, fossil fuels are also uh, most uh, polluting source of uh, of environment as well as least sustainable so we unfortunately we are um, associated with the industry which is least sustainable and also most uh, pollution creating industry but with time we have also changed and the industry is also changing and the government of india has decided that by 240 our half of the requirement of energy will be through uh, renewable energy source and by 2070 uh, we have to become carbon neutral so uh, working on the priority areas and on the uh, of the government we have also changed and we are also working in number of areas uh, related to renewable energy hydrogen uh, then other sources photovoltaic cells uh, batteries etc and uh, we are also um, uh, working on the development of the technologies which are sustainable uh, there are number of projects going on uh, at our place but uh, what i could guess or we could f- discuss with uh, rajiv gupta ji that i will discuss one project in detail and that is uh, integrated biodigester biodigesters are common uh, for producing the biogas but we have uh, integrated it with solar pv cells uh, solar pv cell uh, it has two purpose Uh, at present the solar pv cell uh, which converts elect- uh, solar uh, energy into electricity but the solar uh, light which we get has uh, considerable fraction of infrared and infrared uh, light cannot be converted into electricity they can only they only produce heat 
So what we have designed that uh, below the solar cell, we have uh, water circulating. So it not only keeps the temperature of the photovoltaic cell low, uh, so that its efficiency is high. At the same time, we get uh, some hot water also, which can be used, which has various purposes. At the same time, uh, in the winter season, when the temperature of the biodigester goes down below 29 degrees centigrade, then this water is used to uh, heat up the digester so that the production of biogas does not uh, decline and we get sustained uh, amount of biogas. The, it is integrated in the sense also that the the residue which come out from the biogas is not directly used as a manure but we convert it to vermicompost which has more value and uh, as a uh, fertilizer. So at one end we get electricity which is fed to the grid and we can draw equal amount of uh, electricity from the grid as and when required. It gives us hot water which can be used at different uh, for different purposes. It can also be used when the temperature goes down in the biodigester to heat the digester. And then the vermicompost we get. So at our, we have a demonstration plant and the raw material, uh, we have hostel also which has a capacity of uh, around 700 students. So the kitchen waste we get is sufficient to, red, uh, to run the biodigester. The gases which we collect are supplied to the kitchen of the mess. Uh, it is something equivalent to 40, 45 uh, thousand rupees per month. And uh, we have asked the mess uh, proprietor of the mess that he should uh, subsidize the food for poor students. That way it is self-sustaining, it is helping the student, it is helping the maintaining the clean environment and uh, I think that this technology can be utilized in hospitals at distributed uh, places where there is some scope of getting uh, raw material uh, like food waste or something like that which can be biodigested. So this is the one project uh, which I wanted to discuss. Rest. Uh, uh, we can explore the new areas or the possible areas of collaboration with the Nodz Even Priyas Foundation and I will be happy if our uh, association becomes stronger and stronger in the future. Thank you.